What's up guys, it's X-Rays and welcome to part 8 of the Call of Duty Zombie storyline. It's been a while since I did part 7. I know you guys have been doing non-stop questions and comments on all of my videos saying once part 8 going to come out. And so finally it's here for you guys. So if you guys could slap a like and a favorite on this video, I would really appreciate that guys. This is one of the few series that I do that take a lot of time to make and on top of that it it's not really released all the time because DLC comes out every 3 or 4 months and then after that you know, an Infinity Ward game is going to come out, so you're not going to see another episode till the next uh, Treyarch game comes out. So, if you guys could slap a like and a favorite on this video, try to get it out there for people to see, I would really appreciate that. Anyways, guys, if you guys missed any of the first seven parts, I would recommend you guys go check it out. A link to that will be down in the description. All you have to do is click on it. It'll take you to the playlist. You can go watch any episode that you might have missed, or maybe you just want a refresher before you jump into this one. You can do that as well. Go ahead and go through them and then come over here. This is a very long and very confusing story. Uh, so if you guys missed any of it, you might be out of the loop and might be like, what the hell's going on? So go check them out. Come back when you guys are refreshed and ready to go. And then we can start and you guys can start listening to this one. Uh, so without any further ado, guys, let's jump straight into what exactly happens in Buried. Alright guys, so Buried throws a lot of information at us. Uh, starting off straight with when you start, we learn a lot about the characters. Uh, first of all, the characters do return Marlton, Misty, Rustman, and Stulinger. They all return in this map, so we don't see the return of the characters from Mob of the Dead, seeing as that was more of a side story than an actual part of the main story. So one of the first things that we do learn about Buried is the fact that it actually takes place after Die Rise. It shows off in the quick cutscene that they went from town to Die Rise and then ended up in Buried. Uh, so Buried is actually the continuation. Uh, there is no kind of time loop. There is uh, a certain time loop going on in the actual storyline, uh, but we'll get more into that into a little bit. But the actual events take place after Die Rise, so there is no uh, going back in time to the past or going forward. It's all pretty much uh, consistent and linear with the storyline. So anyways, we learn a little bit more about Rustman. As we all know, Rustman is an older gentleman. He's a little on the crazy side, and a lot of people thought he was like homeless or a hobo or, you know, some kind of weird character. But then we learn in the beginning of the cinematic for Buried that Rustman was actually an agent for a corporation known as Broken Arrow. I did some research on Broken Arrow and found out that Broken Arrow is a term that is used for an accidental nuclear fallout. So if you guys don't know what an accidental nuclear fallout is, it's kind of like if you go to like a nuclear plant and it has a meltdown and it blows up and there's radiation everywhere. And so the reason that it's referred to as Broken Arrow is because of the fact that they want the world to know that this was not intentional, this was not a nuclear strike, this was not a nuclear attack on anyone, it was simply an accidental leak of radiation or something. So it's kind of interesting that they used the company name uh, that Russman worked for as Broken Arrow. We also learned that Rustman is having a lot of, of issues with his memory. He does not know what's going on. He uh, r forgets what he's saying or where he's at mid-sentence, which is really strange. It looks like he might even have Alzheimer or some sort of, of disease that causes him to forget where he is and who he is. Uh, they, they actually mention and they tell him, you know, your name is Rustman. He's like, is that my first name or second name? And he's not really sure who he is. It's, it's really kind of disturbing. We also learned that the four characters met up in the town. As it turns out, Rustman was driving the bus that we see, uh, along with Stulinger, Samuel, and they meet up in the town and that's where they basically join up and be kind of become this crew that they start fighting off. Another thing that we learned throughout the gameplay, uh, you know, as you're playing Barry, there was always a theory going around that Stulinger was eating zombies and it's the reason that he could communicate with Richtofen. So as you're playing Buried, you can also hear quotes of, of Samuel saying, uh, you know, stuff to zombies like you smell a whole lot better when you're heated and stuff like that. Basically alluding to the fact that he did indeed eat zombies and it's the reason that he's able to communicate with Richtofen since the zombies are directly getting, you know, basically the power from Richtofen. Anyways guys, so there's a few other things that I want to cover about Buried uh, before we continue on as to what exactly happens uh, in continuation with the storyline with Dr. Maxis and Richtofen. And uh, there's a few little bit of information that we learn about in Buried. Uh, so first of all, there is this weird ghost that, that's at this mansion, and although there is no official storyline for what exactly happened, uh, you, it can be assumed uh, that she was a grieving widow, 
and uh, she she passed away or she died after her husband died uh, possibly shortly after the the events of her husband dying so what happens is if someone dies while well, they have something any kind of attachment to this world then they end up becoming a ghost so that's the whole you know theory behind ghosts and stuff oh they have some kind of attachment that they have left behind and that's the reason that they can't move on to you know the the afterlife or or whatever you want to call it so we have this crazy widow she goes around and she takes the money of the players whenever you go into the house she bumps into you she takes the money and obviously from the clothes you can you can see that she is a grieving widow and on top of that uh, there's a couple of little you know easter egg things that you can do that kind of show you the fact that she also was a piano player another person that we meet in buried is the giant or the big guy as they refer to him there's no official name uh, there is also no official storyline as to how the, the big guy got there in the beginning or how it happened in the first place. All we do know is that the big guy is scared of zombies, um, you know, unless he's drinking booze or eating candy. Uh, then he is uh, generally afraid and kind of, he's the one who actually locked himself into the, the cell. This is kind of funny, when we first start playing the map, it, it feels like maybe he was locked in by someone and they ended up turning into a zombie. Uh, but in all actuality, he is so scared of the zombies that he actually locks himself into the actual jail cells so that they can't reach him. Uh, so there is no official kind of storyline as to how he got there or if he has any kind of tie to the actual story. Uh, but it's, you know, he's an interesting character, uh, not something that you're probably going to see in the future, but you know, he's, he's something that popped up and I thought that maybe you guys might want to learn a little bit about. We do learn though that Barry takes place in Africa. You can see them walking through the desert, you can see them by the pyramids, and we learn that they're trying to get to the rift. And for you guys that don't know what the rift is, I'm gonna talk about it really quickly. The rift is the crack in the earth that happens. As we all know, Maxis released the rockets that hit the earth, and it completely shattered it apart. There's a lot of theories going around, you know, like on Moon Area 51, is it, is it on Earth? You know, there's a lot of different theories. But the point is that the earth was cracked into multiple pieces and there's these rifts that kind of get to the center of the earth and it's, you know, everything's really broken apart. So they end up going to the rift because of communication to finish up the three towers, you know, depending on if you're doing the Rick Toffin side of the story or Max's side of the story, then you know that you have to come to this area to finish generating power to the last tower in order to either Rick Toffin to have complete control or for Maxis to try to gain control back. Something that's really interesting about Buried and kind of continues this tradition of kind of time warping and time travel within the zombie storyline is the fact that you are able to use a equipment called the time bomb. As you can see, you can see it on screen right now, it's being used to go back in time. And what it allows you to do is you place it down like a C4 and it allows you to go back in time to that point. Zombies are still there uh, and you basically reset. You have the guns you had before, you lose any perks that you gained after you drop down the, the bomb. And it kind of creates this little tiny loop or this kind of infinite loop that you can create this is kind of like a nod towards Shangri-La and Mob of the Dead uh, you know basically all of these map kind of make this reference to the fact that you know time is ever-changing you're able to change the loop you're kind of able to go back in time and try again or you know try different uh, different tactics out uh, so it's this huge kind of uh, thing that's going on in zombies right now where time loops and time travel is a huge key thing so you see it in buried with the time bomb you see it in mom of the dead where you go to the bridge you run out of fuel you go back you go back to the bridge and then the only way to end it is to actually kill weasel which is by completing the easter egg and again same thing with shangri-la and even die rise where you know you see it in the opening cutscene where they die and then rick toffin brings them back so it looks like time travel is a huge part and i would not be surprised if it's if we see it again maybe in the next game or the game after anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the zombie storyline this is a really really long story buried had a ton of information that needed to be covered so i'm gonna actually be breaking this apart into two different episodes part 8 and part 9. I hope you guys enjoyed part 8. In the next part, we're going to cover what happens if you follow Max's side of the story and what happens when you follow Rick Toffin. So there's a really interesting stuff that goes on there. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the zombie storyline. Remember, if you did enjoy, to slap a like and a favorite on here as well as uh, leave a comment and go check out the other episodes if you haven't seen them already. 
Uh, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I am already hard at work on episode 9, so you might see this a lot sooner, possibly in a week. We'll see the next episode, uh, episode 9, which is, I know, the one that you guys are all super excited for because it kind of branches off the story into two different linear worlds. Again, you know how I mentioned that time is a huge thing. You know, time is a stream, and you're able to break off from the from the main timeline and kind of branch off into its own reality. And it's basically what we're going to be seeing in the next part, episode nine. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. If you guys are new to my channel and you guys want to subscribe, you guys can. My YouTube channel is YouTube.com/ogxrays. Go stop by my channel and subscribe. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I am X-rays. I'm out. Peace.